I'm standing on the end to Ingobierga, the entry towards Cape Town rather, where the e-hailers, I don't know if you can see behind me, if my cameraman can just show you, have completely stopped traffic. This demonstration um, is against the ongoing violence that they have been experiencing by these taxi drivers. Cars have been burnt out, Uber drivers, bolt drivers, taxi fire drivers have been beat up. Even um, their passengers, you know, in these e-hailing vehicles um, have been abused, you know. Um, they've absolutely stopped traffic here in Kobeja and Nelson Mandela Bay. Traffic is on scene, the police is on scene, but they have been having meetings, holding meetings rather, with the municipality, with the taxi guys, to try and rectify the situation. But according to these e-hailers, e um, the situation isn't getting better. The cars are still being burned down, they're still getting beaten up, and they just feel enough is enough, and they are trying to show the municipality and to show those in charge that they're not going to take this anymore. Um, from my understanding, they started at Galvindale Stadium, they're driving to Bay West, and then are going to go down towards Cape Road and to Mount Road Police Station. Um, I'm not sh sure at this stage if they're going to hand over a petition. We had spoken to the acting mayor yesterday of Nelson Mandela Bay Metro, and he had said that uh, they're trying to arrange a meeting now with provincial and national, where uh, they can sit down and work out um, a solution that benefits you know both these e-hailers and these taxi drivers so that the violence can stop but the main message from the metro is that they're wanting to they're looking um at the taxi drivers asking them to stop the violence and um you know to bring peace back into the bay but from us in Gobeja, it's back to you guys in studio